In the heart of the city, beneath a moon that hangs heavy with anticipation, Lingwoman, our linguistic superhero, is poised for a new encounter of wit and wordplay. The air crackles with tension as a new villain emerges from the shadows, his sinister laughter echoing through the silent streets. The villain, Syntax Scourge, a master of distorted phrases and tangled words, sneers at Lingwoman. He believes in a world where language is a chaotic mess, and he thrives on confusion. With a snap of his fingers, he releases his first attack, a barrage of words and phrases that make no sense. Unfazed, Lingwoman, the guardian of grammar, stands tall. He draws upon his knowledge of language, deciding to use negative sentences as his weapon of choice against this new adversary. As the battle ensues, Lingwoman explains, Negative sentences, my dear syntax scourge, are not your ordinary sentences. They express a denial or a contradiction, and they are formed by adding the word not after the auxiliary verb. As Lingwoman dodges an attack of jumbled words, he throws back a clear, concise negative sentence. You will not succeed, syntax scourge. The clean sentence slices through the confusion, leaving syntax scourge momentarily stunned. Continuing his lesson in the midst of battle, Lingwoman says, In English, we can make negative sentences by adding not after the auxiliary verb, like do, be, or have. For example, I am not afraid, you do not frighten me, or we have not lost the battle. Each negative sentence Lingwoman utters cuts through the chaos, pushing syntax scourge back. The villain struggles against the clarity and precision of Lingwoman's language, his powers of confusion and disorder weakening with each well-crafted sentence. As the final blow, Lingwoman proclaims, you cannot and will not destroy the beauty of language, syntax scourge. With that, he delivers a powerful negative sentence, language will not be corrupted. The sentence rings out, clear and strong, and Syntax Scourge shatters under its weight, his reign of linguistic chaos ended. Calm descends on the city once more. Lingwaman, victorious, takes a moment to recap the battle and the lesson. He says, remember, negative sentences express denial or contradiction. They're formed by adding not after the auxiliary verb. I am not, you do not, we have not. These are all examples of negative sentences. As he vanishes into the night, Lingwoman leaves behind a city safe from linguistic chaos and a lesson on the power and precision of negative sentences. In the world of language, negativity can indeed be a force for good.